Hey guys, if you like the content, please be sure to like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Quick reminder to check out this week's Mortar Pod, our video podcast, and also check out this week's Seems Good Magic card giveaway. Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here and we're doing another Theros Swiss Block Draft. Uh, we've got Athreos Got a Passage again, and I think I'm going to take it again. Other good cards in this pack, Magma Spray, Crone Line Breaker, Riddle of Lightning, Nautilus is good. A lot of good cards in here, actually. The weakest cards in here, maybe we should point out those instead. Not a big fan of Countermand, Returned Reveler. Devours, I don't think he's that great, but I mean, he's probably playable. And then Desecration Plague, I think, is actually okay, I guess. It kills enchantments and lands, but uh, yeah, we're just going to go with the God again. Worth about five tickets currently. And uh, pretty playable. Don't have to force it, but we'll take it for now. Okay. Follow-up pick. Let's see. A big fan of this Trailblazer. Uh, Aegis of the Gods is a rare, but he's just a Goblin Piker, so I'm not that impressed. Uh, Grim Guardian is definitely good. I think I'd still rather have the heroic guy that's cheaper. Um, Felhide Petrifier is pretty good too. Definitely Death Touch is good in this format. And giving other guys Death Touch is good as well. I still think I want the heroic guy. I like this Trailblazer a lot. He's a good cost. Heroic is still powerful. So let's take him. See what happens. Okay, so now we have Spiteful Blow, Crow and Mastiff, Press of Rays. Uh, I think we're just going to go with the Spiteful Blow. What's Polymorphous Rush do again? I see. That's cool. Turn your guys into other dudes. Thassa's Ire is also good. Yeah, we're just taking the removal in removal spell. Okay, now we can take Eagle of the Watch. We can also take Oppressive Rays. Uh, I do like Oppressive Rays. Solid removal. Same time, I like, I like this flyer. Vigilance is so good in this format because of Bestow. That makes this underwhelming looking guy just significantly better in this format. Just slap a Bestow on him and he's a monster. Uh, I think we got to go with the Eagle. I want the Oppressive Race, too, but I want the Evasiveness. I want to buff him a little bit. Ooh, this is a sexy pack for us. Jeez. Feast of Dreams, Trailblazer, Double Striker. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely between those. I think we want the Feast of Dreams. It's good removal. Hard to deny. Feast of Dreams is good removal. But Trailblazer and Calvary are very good, too. I'm not thrilled about passing them, but I think we're just going to go with the removal spell here. Okay, now we can go Nyx Infusion or Death Touching Snake. Hmm. Infusion is a little bit more versatile. I guess we'll go with the Infusion. Frank has chosen is pretty good, too, though. I can hold down the ground pretty nicely. But, I mean, Nyx Infusion can kill things. Which is always valuable. It's kind of a clunky price for it, but... Frykus Chosen just isn't good against the Skies deck so much, or any sort of evasion. I'm going to go with the Infusion. Uh, Alright, we can take Mastiff pretty easily here. Hubris and Starfall are both in here. What's this guy do again? That's pretty good too, actually. But uh, let's take the Mastiff pretty happily. I like tapping creatures down in this format more than any other. Okay, so we can do Cruel Feeding, which can target multiple creatures. Good for multi-heroic. We've got Mortal Obstinacy. Also triggers heroic and lets you destroy things sometimes. Um, I think we're going to go with the Cruel Feeding. Tough to deny the lifelink. 
gaining life out of nowhere tends to blow people's minds and throw off their math. So let's do that one. All right, Cast into Darkness I'm a big fan of, actually. I like it, the idea of that alongside Athreos. Get us a little devotion, turn off an attacker a little bit, blocker 100%. Riddle of Lightning uh, tabling is pretty surprising, but I like Cast into Darkness, happily taking it and playing it. Uh, very good red cards in here. We're going to take the Dreadbringer Lamp Pads. Not 100% playing them, but uh, they're all right. They're not that great, but they're playable. Font of Return, it's on color, so we'll cut it. Gives us some devotion, which isn't too shabby. More good red cards in here. Humbler Mortals, good and green. Um, nothing on color for us, unfortunately. I guess we'll take the Knowledge and Power, because I haven't seen that deck before. And it would be cool if someone made it. Ne haven't seen either of these cards played yet. They don't seem particularly good, just a little bit too pricey, unfortunately. All right, so pack one, not too bad. Got a couple of removal spells. Got uh, Athreos, of course. Only one heroic guy so far, but we've got some... I like our removal. We're kind of mixing and matching, making it work. All right, pack two. Well, open Silent Sentinel, who is seven mana. Indeed expensive for a 4-6 flyer. It's cool. It's so pricey, though. It's kind of my issue with it. Uh, I'd almost rather have, I think, the Skyguard or the Servant. Both more so than the Harpy. Harpy's just a little bit too pricey for what you get. I guess we'll go with the Skyguard. It's tough to deny Heroic when you're needing it. Whoops, I didn't mean to pick it so fast, but that's okay. All right, so we can take a second Skyguard, or we can take the Spiteful Returned. Kind of feeling the returned. I want the bestow. And uh, that one's pretty good. You can slap a Nyx Infusion on him too and make him even bigger if you hard cast him. This guy's just so good. I love the Spiteful Returned. I like the Skyguard too, number two. But let's take the... Uh, I think we got to go with the bestow here. Just love this card. I love being able to get past blockers. You know what I mean? Like, they have blockers, but you just make them lose life. So there's nothing they can do about it. This card has almost like a sense of inevitability to it, which I like. Let's take the Nyxborn Eidolon here, who is bestowing all day. And uh, otherwise, nice little 2-mana two 2-1, two which also isn't too bad. Nothing else, too much substance in here. Tromper is probably the best, or Cyclops rises the challenge, maybe. Uh, other than that, some playables, nothing too amazing. Okay, so now Oresco Sun Guide or Nyxborn Shieldmate. I think we want the Bestow still. Still digging that Bestow. Just such a high priority. Um, Fall of the Hammer is good removal. I mean, I want the Sun Guide too, but we got to go with Shieldmate. Uh, Alright, we can get another Vigilance, dude. I'm certainly not opposed to that. Yeah. We'll take uh, Crone Phalanx. Like I said, Vigilance is great in this format. And we've already got, we just got three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Bestow guys. So, that makes sense to me. Even when you're not in red, that guy is still good. Jeez, Sudden storm still in here, which is just insane. I think I just want to hate this. Otherwise, I'm getting eye gouge for sideboard which could be useful but I just don't want to get destroyed by sudden storm card is very good ah that is a late ornithark happily taking that very bonkers card in white very surprised to see it that late as well very often you're getting a five mana five five so cool very good five five flyer no, no less all right, I guess we can take Claim of Erebus. Not likely to play it, but I'm not likely to play any of these guys, really. I guess Greatheart, I could take it just in case I need it. Yeah, why don't we do that? Uh, a lot of good cards for red and black in here. I think we'll hate the... I'm 
trying to see how many flyers we have. We have Skyguard, and we have Ornithark and Eagle of the Watch. Uh, I mean, we could hate the anti-flyer. Yeah, why not? Let's hate that. That could be annoying against us. Uh, War Chanter, Forsaken Drifters, neither of which are very good. Guess we'll go with the Drifters, a little more efficient. Uh, Cyclops is the best card remaining, so I guess we'll hate it. Dawn of Dusk. Wanted to play this eventually, so let's do it. We'll take him. We probably have enough enchantments, honestly, to justify him, especially since you can get Athreos back with it, too. But let's see if we actually end up playing it one of these drafts. So currently three cards short of a deck, and uh, I'm not totally impressed with everything we're running, so I definitely want to do some upgrades. Neither of these cards really matter. Okay. So, looking for some upgrades, definitely. We're three cards short of a deck. Currently only have two heroic guys. Decent amount of bestow. Ooh, Spear of Heliod. Yeah, we'll pick up the Spear of Heliod. It's a pretty sexy opener. Uh, Wingsteed Rider's also in here, which is insane, and I would love to have but I'd rather be able to buff my team and kill attackers on command. Just seems a bit better to me. Alright, here I think we're pretty obviously taking the Emissary. Emissaries are awesome in this format. And uh, Bestow is very good. Uh, other good cards. we got the Minotaur Shaman, or the Minotaur Lord, who is a Shaman. Uh, Nemesis Immortals, which is insane. Goliath's good finisher, Unicorn fixes, nothing else too insane in here, but Minotaur Lord is a little bit worrisome. Nemesis Immortals is good. It's a lot of lightning strikes, geez. Alright, I think we could take the Read the Bones here. Could also take the Last Breath, which I do actually like, but I think we want the card draw. Tough to deny card draw. If you can curve out well, it could be really useful. All right, so while I think I'm going to take that, but let me, for now, cut the things I'd prefer to not play so I get a better gauge of where I need to be. What I need to be taking. I can play Dawn to Dusk. I'm okay with that. All right, let's, let's take the Read the Bones, I guess. Uh, Valor... Boon, Dark Betrayal, just good red cards in here. Um, I guess we go Battlewise Valor. Pretty easy to main deck that card. We might end up playing our bad four drops, but we'll see if we have to. Just no, no black or white creatures in here, surprisingly. Guess we'll take Boon. All right, here's a creature, I guess. Oh, never mind. <laughs> keepsake Gorgon, all day. All right, taking the Keepsake. Awesome dude. Very strong card. So we're more of a stall deck now. Uh, unfortunately, I wanted to be beat down, but we can we can make stall work. We we have enough removal. Just got a. This is a great stall card. Taking the Baleful Eidolon for sure. Happily. And. Uh, I think we actually have to make a cut for it, too. That's a good place to be, I guess. So we could cut one of our pump spells, probably, or Dawn to Dusk. Don't have to main don't have to main deck the Dawn to Dusk, but I like that it brings back two of our rares. That's pretty good. I guess we'll go Baleful for sure, though. And then... Light, is that a Lightning Strike that I just tabled? Or... Wow. Uh, how many humans do we have? Got this dude... That guy already flies. That guy's a human. That guy's just an Archon. Huh. That's weird. Uh, I think we just hate a Lightning Strike. I'm not going to play Flesh Mad Steed or Calvary Pegasus. Ray of Dissolution I could get for Sideboard, but Lightning Strike is just so good. <laughs> it's like one of the strongest cards for removal. Uh, now we can take the Flesh Mad Steed, I guess, but still not likely to play it. 
Could take Glare of Heresy for sideboard, I guess. Yeah, let's do that instead, because people are obviously playing white, so let's punish them for stealing our cards. Well, at least nobody's in the Minotaur strategy. Um, I'm still going to take it, because it's cool. Don't need the fixing. Uh, Decorated Griffin's not really that appealing to me. I'm going to take the Viper's Kiss for sideboard. Could use that. Dark Betrayal for sideboard as well. That is great. Witch's Eye or Commune. Doesn't matter. I don't think we got any inspired, but whatever. Okay, so we definitely were competing with people in this draft for our colors, but I'm still pretty satisfied with what we got. We got enough stuff to definitely make this deck work. So let's figure out what we're putting in, what we're not running, all that good stuff. So this is 22, 23 with 14 creatures. Yeah, it's not, that's not that bad. How's our colors looking? More black than white. That's with Boon of Erebus. I only have two heroic guys. Running Boon with Read the Bones is a little bit, a little bit sketchy. Just a little bit. We got Dark Betrayal, Glare of Heresy for sideboard. That's really good. Viper's Kiss too. Hmm. Theoretically, I could cut Boon for a Great Heart, maybe just get another creature or a Dawn to Dusk to return stuff, and also destroy enchantments. How many? Let me count my enchantments. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten is uh, ten is certainly enough to justify playing Dawn to Dusk. All right, well, let's try this card out. I never try it. I think the card's good. It destroys things. It returns things. What more do you want? You get your two for one. Uh, Fourteen creatures. A little bit on the low side, but. Satisfactory. Good finishers. Dreadbringer Lampads tends to make me sad, but still think we can play it. Alright, let's make this work. So, more black than white, but we definitely need double white. What do they say? 9-8. They actually say go more white than black. I think I tend to agree with them. We need the double white is more of a priority early than the double black. All right. Uh, this deck's pretty good. It's not as sexy as the last draft deck I, I just put up, but uh, it's okay. It's not bad. It's a little bit different strategy. It's going to be a little bit slower. It's much less heroic bestow based, much more survive until you outvalue your opponent to death. Keepsake tends to completely change board states. Ornithark is just a huge threat. Um, emissaries are always good. They're huge threats. Spear can make them so they can't attack really profitably. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied. I don't know how to evaluate this exactly. Maybe like a 7 out of 10, something around there. Okay, wish me luck. I'll see you around 1.